Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens Weights and Tarot and today we are out at the Mesquite Wash and I decided to do the Witch's Moon unboxing for May 2022 out here just because it is so beautiful, it's so peaceful and quiet. We got birds out here and a wonderful little like brook, you know, in the wash here. So, all right, enjoy the wonderful sounds while we dive into this month's box. So, I must admit that I did open it earlier just to take in the uh, scents that they have for their like essential oils and incense, like their boxes smell so good, but I swear I didn't go through the books. So here we go. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Of course, gonna keep that. And it looks like we have a little card in here. They always meditate on who is getting the box and they put in a little card and we got the High Priestess. Isn't that a beautiful card? All right, so let's go ahead and put this to the side. We'll take a look at what deck this is coming from in just a moment. Let's take a look at the theme for the month, and this is called Secrets of the Tarot. Tarot has always been an integral part of our practices and workings, providing us with further perspectives and humble nudges. We commonly rely on the practice of reading tarot to start our day or to revisit a series of events that may have recently played out on our journey. As with many aspects of our craft, we rely on our connection with symbols, imagery, and understanding to gain insight into our current and pressing realities. In this extremely special and limited collection, we work with a unique set of beautiful tools to inspire and bolster your intuitive practices. All right, so let's take a look at what the Secrets of the Tarot theme has in store for us. I also want to mention that they put in a piece of blank parchment paper. Uh, you know, if you want to write down your intentions, do a little bit of spell working, it's always nice to put it on nice paper. You know, I suppose the uh, type of paper I use doesn't matter, but you know, I feel that for intention purposes, you know, <laughs> use your nice pen on some nice paper. Okay, so let's see what we have here. I'm going to hold on to our little uh, sheet of goodies, but it uh, looks like we have a little spell in here. Look at the artwork. And let's take a look at this. So let me look on my little paper. This is the Before I Begin Book of Shadows artwork. To accompany your into uh, to accompany your intuition awaits spell candle. Ooh, we got a nice spell candle in here. We have included the corresponding incantation artwork for you to display on your altar or use before you begin your readings or divinatory practices. The sigil you will find behind these words come from the following incantation. I call upon the tarot to bring wisdom and guidance. So this was written by G. Ibis, but illustrated by A. E. Alden. And those two create some wonderful art for us. So like they said, uh, you could put this on your altar, you could put it in your book of shadows, um, you could place it in a picture frame and put it up on the wall, but this is gorgeous, you guys. Okay, okay, let's see what else we have going on in here. Ooh, looks like we have several pieces of artwork here. And it looks like they are broken up into the different suits of the tarot. So we have the suit of wands, let's get in here for you guys. Lots of lovely information as well as gorgeous artwork. We have the suit of pentacles. Very nice. Next, the suit of swords. Love it. And lastly, the suit of cups. Again, just soaking in those lovely pieces of artwork. So these would be fabulous in a Book of Shadows, uh, like they've said, but um, also placed upon your altar or if you're working with the suits individually. Um, but looking through the papers here, it says that the Suit of Wands Correspondence Book of Shadows artwork, um, they give a bunch of uh, keywords here and also some of the information that you'll find on these. Um, these were written and illustrated by A.E. Alden, by the way. Uh, it says that they are thrilled to be able to include these four Book of Shadow art prints that provide correspondence information for the four suits of the Minor Arcana. These can be referred to when reading tarot or while studying the meanings and attributes for each suit. Below you'll find just a small amount of information that is found within these prints. So gorgeous, you guys. Love it! 
cards. Yay! <laughs> okay, okay. So they did mention a spell candle and I'm supposing that that's what this is. All right. And I like that um, as of late, a lot of their candles have been dressed. So they've been rolling them up in these little um, recyclable bags so that the, the herbs don't fall out. Oh, and I'm right. This one is an also, it's a dressed candle. It's a beautiful black candle. And let's take a look at what the papers say here. This is a hand-rolled, dressed, and anointed intuition awaits spell candle. We've hand-rolled and anointed this candle with the intention of enhancing your intuition during your tarot readings. This candle is not meant to bolster your psychic energy. Oh, uh, it's meant to bolster your psychic energy, allowing you to focus on your intentions. Um, it tells you a little bit about how you can use the candle, but you know, you guys, your practice is your practice. Um, but they have enchanted it with jasmine, chamomile, lavender, and almond oils, as well as jasmine buds. So I love to use jasmine, especially in teas, uh, but perfect for magical workings, you guys. It's amazing. I'm going to keep it on here so I don't lose too many of the, the herbs that it's been rolled in. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. Moving right along. Looking, looking, looking. Looks like we have, ooh, is this some tea? Is it herbs? What do we got going on here? Ooh. So we have a couple of herbs here. We have sweet wood and we have hibiscus. Let's see what they say about that. Okay. Hibiscus, a wonderfully expressive herb. Hibiscus can bring the energies of love and stimulation into your workings, which by the way, great for love teas. <laughs> Known for allowing long held emotional scars to heal. Hibiscus brings positivity and a form of gentle energy. As well as being used for several love spells, hibiscus can also be placed within a sachet under your pillow to encourage prophetic dreams and visions. It also gives you the planetary association and the elemental association. All right, Sweetwood, also known as cinnamon. <laughs> uh, one of the most widely used herbs in witchcraft, cinnamon brings potency to your psychic endeavors and divinatory practices. In addition to aiding in your readings and meditations, cinnamon can enhance any spells associated with luck, love, healing, prosperity, and protection. Again, also gives you the gender association, planetary association, and elemental associations. Let's get all up in this herbly goodness. Yay! So awesome. And I, I use these quite often. Actually, I just, um, actually, I'm totally out of my cinnamon, like my actual chunk cinnamon. All I have is powdered cinnamon, so I'm, I'm glad that <laughs> they have some in chunks again. Yay! Um, but hey, you guys, it looks like we have ourselves a tea. Yes! Yes! <laughs> All right, the prophetess, all right, prophetess, prophetess. It says the prophetess ritual herbal tea bags, a wonderfully fresh and bright blend. The prophetess ritual herbal tea bags have been placed within this collection for its strong association with activating the psychic center. Um, allow yourself to relax on the line while sipping this blend before or during your readings. Um, it gives you a little bit of um, information on how you could utilize the tea in here, but of course it's up to you. Always listen to your intuition. Uh, but it says that in here they have hibiscus, peppermint, and stevia. And um, yeah, so stevia, really good for um, sweetening things without putting in cane sugar. So that's, that's really cool. All right, excellent. Let's see what else we have in here. Well, this looks like one of their bath salts they're sacred bath salts and this is called the queen of cups um okay queen of cups sacred salt this queen of cups sacred salt was created with the intention of nurturing your connection with the divine allow the ingredients within this blend to bring you the energies of compassion emotional stability intuition and introspection um, let's see it also gives you a suggestion on how to use it in your bath but it's created with green tea, almond and gardenia oils, as well as lemon balm, lavender, chamomile, and ground sage herbs. There's also a mixture of their Queen of Cups magical oil from their personal cabinet of witchery. 
And I do want to note that if you don't have a bathtub, um, other people uh, in our community have said that you could place this into a bin of warm water, you know, and maybe do a foot soak. Uh, you can also place it into a bowl of warm water and maybe pour it over your head in the shower. Um, I've also suggested maybe pouring it onto the um, shower floor and then stepping onto it when entering the shower and just put maybe a little catcher so that the larger herbs don't go down the drain. Um, place it in a little sachet, hang it from the shower head. Uh, but there are other ways to utilize um, their sacred salts other than just having a bathtub. But if you have a bathtub, hey, that's cool too. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Ooh, looks like we got ourselves a crystal here. Take a look at this lovely baby. Oh, hey, you can see my camera. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a black obsidian stone. Ah, a powerful source of protection and cleansing. Obsidian has long been used to eliminate feelings of fear and uncertainty, washing away negativity and chaos. And it also gives you the elemental association of it. Um, black obsidian, gold sheen obsidian, snowflake obsidian, like mahogany obsidian. There's so many different kinds and they're just so powerful and so that's why in our other shop desert cauldron we stock so much black obsidian and gold sheen obsidian because it is such a protective and wonderful stone definitely perfect for scrying especially one like this so this is amazing and in the sunlight i can kind of see the striations in it that's so cool that is so cool <laughs> um so i'm going to carry that around while i'm out here today <laughs> Okay, let's see what else. Oh, looks like we have some incense sticks. And this is called Dark Opium. Oh, I love the name already. Um, dark Opium Ritual Incense Sticks. As you allow the smoke from this ritual incense to waft throughout your sacred space, allow its energies to bring inner peace and calm into your environment. Um, and we are needing to stock up on incense sticks because, you know, we, uh, over here at KWT headquarters <laughs> we go through a lot of incense so actually let me just have a quick little sniff ski of this let me see Ooh, that's dark you guys it's like darkly feminine is what I'm getting from this yeah that's that's some good stuff there <laughs> I'm gonna like burning that later and don't uh, forget that um, never leave incense burning unattended if you have little ones around whether they're human or furry um, always make sure that you have a window open but also for yourself you know make sure you have a window open and it helps with the flow of energy as well as making sure that the um, home doesn't get uh, too smoky and um, you know get into the lungs of little ones okay so let's see what we have here this off to the side. Ooh, we have a little spray, tarot aura spray. That sounds amazing. Let's take off the little cap here. Put this in. And let's read about it first and then I'll um, give a little spritz. Uh, I know you guys can't smell, but one day they're going to have smell a vision. You just wait. <laughs> this is tarot divinatory aura, ritual aura spray. We're thrilled to be able to introduce our Tarot Divinitary Ritual Aura Spray within this collection. This very special blend was created to enhance your readings and prepare your sacred space. And it talks a little bit more about it, but within it, they have jasmine, almond, rose, and a special mixture of their Seeker Magical Oil from their personal cabinet of witchery. And they do remind you to give it a nice good shake. So here we go. Here we go. And let's do a little spritz. Ooh, that actually has like a really fresh scent like it's very light and very fresh and I would say like a late spring and actually that's what we're in we're in late spring um, but yeah it's, it's very nice very nice light scent I like that it's quite lovely okay so we'll reuse this we'll put that to the side and this as well okay okay Woo! Here we go. Is this a deck? Yes, it is. It's the Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot. <gasps> Beautiful box. You know, I think my best friend was talking about this deck. 
but um, I hadn't had a chance to look into it, but hey, <laughs> now I have it. So, okay, let's see what it says in here. Um, the intuitive night goddess tarot with seer tarot bag. This beautiful tarot deck has been created and designed by Lindsay Silverman and Eye of Astro. As stated within this companion guide of the intuitive night goddess tarot, each card represents an abundant nature scene beneath a starry sky. The night represents the hidden and unknown and subconscious. Here in this vortex, time stops and intuitive knowledge reigns supreme. The moon and stars illuminate our own reflective powers. The goddess depicted by these cards are not specific, but rather archetypal com composites from various cultures, becoming those we may recognize in each other and within our personal histories. So it talks a little bit more about it. Um, and uh, just some recommendations. We recommend keeping your cards in a safe space and away from others that may want to handle them. Always state your intentions and ask for guidance and truth. Um, and then may the secrets of the tarot be unveiled to you on your sacred journey towards enlightenment. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. So the um, card that they uh, placed within this box at the very beginning and it says, uh, we believe, uh, we've meditated and selected a card from the intuitive night goddess, Tarot, hey, um, by Lindsay Silverman and I of Astro to place inside your box. This card and the symbology that it holds was meant for you. Take the time to reflect on the wisdom that it holds. And that's something that I truly love about the witch's moon is that they take the time to think about the people that are receiving these boxes. And, you know, it's not just like, oh, it's, you know, make some quick money and throw whatever in here but you they know that people of all backgrounds and all different practices are going to be utilizing these tools so this is amazing all right guys that was everything in this month's witch's moon for may 2022 again amazing amazing uh tools that they have included within this box um, i encourage you guys to go check out their site i put their links down below in case you're interested but i love doing these unboxings not only to help uh promote small businesses and you know our witchy community but also to give you guys ideas for tools that maybe you have lying around your own home so thinking about um, the tools they used here in order to help get clarity for guidance with the use of tarot cards and you know other divination tools and think about what do you have on hand maybe you have hibiscus on hand or cinnamon and maybe you want to create your own uh sacred salt bath for you know before reading your tarot or perhaps after so remember that a witch isn't defined by their bougie tools but the ability to create real magic with the environment they have around them so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding 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 notification bell for more videos just like this all of my links are down below if you want to check out desert cauldron like i was mentioning before we actually just had our one year shop anniversary, so there are some new items up in there and we will be adding more um yeah and checking out my newsletter Leo mystery school my website all that good stuff but anyway i hope you all have a beautiful day i'm going to go ahead and continue enjoying this wonderful scenery here at the mesquite wash i'll catch you guys later peace love and chicken grease peace out